What's going on, Future DDS family? Today we are here with Michael Yu from Western University of Health Sciences College of Dental Medicine. He's joining us today. Michael, thanks for joining us. How are you doing, man? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for inviting me to do this. It's it's a great honor, really. Man, yeah. of course, of course. Thank you. Thank you again for being here. Um, so, you know, if you could just give us a brief summary, um, you know, reintroduce yourself, tell us a little bit about where you're from, where you went to undergrad, uh, what you majored in, and if you took a gap year or did a master's or anything, if you could let us know what you did in that year. Sounds good. Uh, so, hi again. My name is Michael. Uh, I'm a D2 at Western University in Pomona, California. Uh, I grew up, I was born and raised in Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, ended up going to University of Washington for my undergraduate education. Uh, majored in general biology with a minor in education, learning, and society. Uh, and ultimately, I, I ended up taking five years off from undergrad to um, getting into dental school. Uh, not, not willingly. Um, I, I did have a couple of applications in there, mm -hmm. which we could talk about. But yeah, in that time, I, I dental assisted um, a couple of different, uh, a couple different clinics, and eventually ended up at the University of Washington Orthodontic Department, um, researching there and also dental assisting there. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So, you know, if you can think back, I know it's, it's probably what, it's been what, two or three years, I'm sure, since you've taken a DAT, but if you could think back to, you know, the burning question all pre have, what was the one, I guess, the one thing that you used, the tool or, you know, I guess, book or whatever program you use that helped you do well on your DAT? You know, so I used a couple of different ones. I mean, I, I ended up having to take the DAT three times. So I ended up using quite a bit of um, softwares out there, but <laughs> <laughs> Ultimately, in the end, um, I ended up using Crack the Dat for the PAT and um, the math portion, okay. and ended up using uh, DAT Bootcamp for the other two sections. Um, number one tip I would have from you know using all those softwares is really taking the time to do all the practice this DAT like full length DATs. Because I remember from my first DAT, it, um, it was it was hard. It, it, I, I ended up not doing all the pra full full length practice tests, mm -hmm. and I definitely showed in my score. So uh, once I once I started doing all the practice tests, that's when my scores started improving, and you know that whole active recall came in, and it really solidified what what I actually needed to know br uh, versus what I needed to uh, brush up on. So, yeah. Got you. Got you. Got you. So. Um, you know, at Western, um, are there any like, I guess, pre-dental enrichment programs? You know, everybody, mm. we always talk about being a very well-rounded applicant. Are there any type of enrichment programs or maybe like a master's program they have there or anything? Yeah, so one thing I'm very proud of um, about my school, uh, Western U, is that we have a special master's program that is kind of like a pipeline towards, um, pipeline towards the dental school. Okay. And not only that, we do have a, a a thing called preview day where where all the different professions are kind of welcomed onto the campus so all, like pre-dental students pre-med students pre-pharmacy students and we just put on a whole day of workshops um, and q a sessions with the admissions coordinator um, at at the university um, not only that uh, adia and as is heavily involved in um, putting on a pre-dental day and uh, something I'm very proud of, uh, this last year, uh, we ended up applying for the As the Golden Crown, Crown Award, nice. and we got the number one uh, Outstanding Pre-Dental Involvement and Outreach uh, Award. So number one in the awesome. nation. Uh, really proud of that. Yeah. Yeah, you should be. That's awesome, bro. That's awesome. Yeah. Super cool. Oh, got something in my <laughs> Man, that's that's amazing. So you guys definitely are, you know, heavily involved in the pre-dental experience as well, which is really good. Yeah. Okay, so you know, moving to your interview, you know, you say you took five years off of school. Can I guess we could, you can know, you hold a second. Sorry. Okay, got, no problem. Take I got something in my eye, and I know <laughs> I'm not supposed to be touching it because of the coronavirus, but yeah, okay, got it. <laughs> All good. Okay, cool. So, um, you know, uh, just getting back to, you know, actually getting to your interview date. You say you took five years. You had a five-year gap between mm -hmm. uh, when you started to apply to school and when you actually, you know, got into school. Um, if you could kind of take us through that journey and then eventually tell us how the, your actual interview process at Western was. Man, so, man, a lot to cover in that time. I ended up applying once 
straight out of undergrad. Right. And then, um, what is it? Didn't get any interviews, didn't get a single word back from any, um, any school. Actually, I got a lot of rejection emails and I still have my rejection email from Western U. Um, just yeah. found it the other day too. Yeah, it's crazy. And then second application went by. Um, I got a few, you know, few um, secondaries, but again, still no interviews. So I really looked at my application and I kind of needed to like kind of uh, really assess it. And it really ended up becoming the, uh, coming down to the GPA not really being there where mm -hmm. it needs to be. Um, so I, I ended up applying to a master's program and I, I did the biomedical sciences program at Midwestern University in Arizona. Okay. Increased my GPA, uh, finally got an interview. Um, I got two interviews, one at that school and one at Western U. And ultimately, at, you know, I had an amazing experience at the, at the Western U interview and I uh, ultimately ended up accepting a few weeks after my interview, yeah. Nice, nice. Do you remember back to that day, like how it was, you know, showing up that day and how, kind of how the experience was? I mean, you said you worked there yeah. for a bit too, so I guess you were kind of accustomed to it, but you kind of walked through that. Well, you know, uh, it, it was, it was definitely nerve wracking. I, your first interview is always kind of stressful. Uh, yeah. But one thing about Western U is that they were really good about making you feel welcome and also making sure that everything's organized. So you're kind of, you know, not wondering what you're doing at certain hours of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, I, my anxiety right when I went to the interview, um, it, it just completely went away because mm -hmm. the, the interviewer ultimately um, what it is, it's a faculty and a fourth year student that's interviewing you. And they're just so good about, you know, just having a good conversation with you. And ultimately it ended up being a conversation. We ended up talking about, um, dogs with braces and um, other other weird dental things uh, here and there. So it, it, it was overall a good time. And I, I actually remember pulling one of the administrators aside at the end of my interview and just, you know, thanking her. Good experience because, you know, I couldn't have imagined it going any better. Yeah. Nice. Amazing. Amazing as well. As we see it worked out, you know, second year, uh, if you can, you know, talk about a little bit about how, your first year actually was, you know, a little bit about your experience just going through, meeting your new classmates, um, you know, how the cur curriculum was and kind of getting introduced to dental clinic and the actual. Man. Yeah. So, I mean, meeting my classmates were, it was just so amazing. It was for the first time I felt like I was learning alongside people who were, you know, nerds about teeth, nerds about dentistry. Yeah. And it, we came from such different backgrounds. I mean, I for one came from Alaska and um, they're, they're, students from even other countries so that was exciting um and yeah it was a bit of adjusting in the uh, in, in the beginning like it, it's dental school it's hard and you end up having to learn different learning techniques All right uh but first year i would say it was amazing um yeah i got really involved with the student body through asda um started the youtube channel started the the instagram um and just started working alongside such amazing faculty and such amazing, um, just amazing peers. And it, yeah, so first year it, it went really well. Um, um, yeah, I, I, I guess I'm just raving about the peers right there. Right now. <laughs> yeah. No, that's awesome. But uh, so how was the curriculum set up there? Uh, Western is it like block style is it PBL is it systems based kind of yeah so um it's block style so we what that means is we end up taking one uh one topic at a time mm -hmm. but uh so one biomedical science topic at a time so say if we're taking mole molecular cell biology we'll focus only on that topic um alongside with service learning and um, sim lab and then once we're done with molecular biology we move on to the next topic and it, it's it was it was kind of my learning style it was the first time I experienced anything like that but being able to focus on one topic was amazing um, and yeah the the curriculum sim lab everything you need to learn it's the, the way they have you do it is they have you do an online um, milestone uh, first before coming to sim lab kind of read up on how to do a class two and then 
we reinforce it in SimLab and then we ultimately end up having our um, exam on that. So yeah, it's it, it was good. Uh, earlier you mentioned how how was it a uh, how was first year about um, how how was it good about uh, exposing you to the clinic yeah. uh, through service learning. Western U is big on um, big on community service, so they had you rotating in the first year, really assisting um, second and third years yeah. um, in the community clinic sites. And right off the bat, I was you know interacting with patients. I wasn't doing much, but having that interaction that that actually helped a lot yeah yeah just seeing them, i'm sure it's just seeing it like you pick up little things here and there that just mm -hmm. like, will make obviously making your patient interaction you know experience that much easier that much better too so yeah yeah it's pretty that's pretty cool bro so yeah, yeah, yeah. i guess um outside of that you know that's that seems like something that's pretty unique you know uh being designated to do that type of service learning what other things or what is something that's super unique about your school? Obviously you, you have your one experience, but what is something yeah. that you don't want to change about your experience at your school? You know, um, one thing that comes to mind is that uh, our interprofessional education curriculum. Um, a lot of schools have it nowadays, uh, but one particular IPE experience that I always think back to is um, being able to go into a kind of a mock scenario is it, the school puts on these things that we, they're called Toskies. And what you do is you sign up for a certain day and you meet up with all the different professions. So on my day, there was another PA student and uh, another dental student with me. But on other days, there might be, uh, you know, a pharmacist, a DO student, mm -hmm. another dental student. And what you end up being able to do is you get a clinical scenario, um, Put in front of you and you get actors that actually come into the room and act you know the clinical scenario out with wow. you and uh -huh. yeah and my scenario was the lady was running and she took a fall and she came in with her husband and the husband was very demanding and you know it was the first time we had any experience with a demanding patient so right. to speak uh so yeah that, that was very interesting and apparently if i want to do that again i can you know get a group of friends program and um you know go in and do do this toski all over again man that that is something yeah. uh unique to experience like that whole acting out thing that's pretty it's pretty yeah. cool bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I really like it that. yeah man it's pretty cool so i guess okay so just to wrap up the interview now we're, we're coming to the close but i just want you to you know think back to to younger michael and just if you could go back, know what you know now, going through everything you've gone through so far, if you could go back in time and tell yourself, uh, you know, why you're applying to dental school, one thing, uh, what would that be? What, like, what advice would you give yourself Man, um, you know, uh, five years ago or seven years ago? Right. Uh, well, again, I applied three times and I, I remember just feeling so anxious about getting in as soon as possible. And that's all I was focused on. Um, and if I could go back and talk to talk to Michael back then, I, I would I would just definitely tell him, you know, all in due time, especially because I the, the class that I'm in right now, I wouldn't want any other class. I wouldn't want him to, to be part of any other class. And I, I've gotten asked in the past, like, if you knew that you were going to be a part of this class, would you have gone through two rejections and two application cycles and three DATs all over again? And you know, my, my answer is always yes, definitely. Yes. Like I love where I am right now and all the experiences that I had during those five years, it's really culminated into, you know, uh, me being a better professional, better health care professional. And I feel more prepared to tackle dentistry or tackle dental school now. Um, so really all in due time. Uh, yeah, man, I can completely agree. Couldn't say it better, man. Yeah. You know, having yeah. taken some years off in between undergrad and, you know, going through application cycle before actually getting in myself, too. It's mm -hmm. just like going thinking back, you're like, all right, it was all of it worth mm -hmm. it to get to this point. And every day you yeah. wake up and you're like, it's definitely it. It couldn't be any better. You know, right. it couldn't have been. I wouldn't want it any other way, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, so definitely. I completely it, understand. It, it's such a blessing just to just to be in dental school. And yeah, all that experience is it, it really makes up for it. Yeah. Yeah, man, definitely makes you better. And you feel like. Do you feel like, uh, obviously, the, those experiences, like having that master's and having, you know, worked in offices and stuff like that has prepared you now 
not only for dental school, but, you know, looking forward, forward now, you know, you've got two more years left, two and a half years left, you know, to actually becoming a, a dentist and your day-to-day practice then, like, I feel like it's going to make it that much more worth it. You feel the same? Definitely, definitely. definitely. Yeah, I, I definitely feel ready to tackle, you know, we have like five, five months left before we get our first patients and all that dental assisting, uh, dental assisting experience, it's, I don't have any anxiety going in and um, treating patients in, in about five months. Um, and that I really have the dental assisting experience to thank for. Yeah. There we go. There we go, yeah. man. Well, again, man, we want to thank you so much, Michael, you know, uh, you know, but for anybody out there who may have a question about Western or may have a question just for you about your story or, you know, just want some advice or anything, what's the best way that they can get in touch with you? Yeah, so um, I have, I'm very active with the pre-dental com- uh, community, and if you want to reach out to me, you can uh, email me at smilesforyou at gmail.com. You is spelled Y-O-O-O, it's a pun on my last name, and um, you can find me on Instagram at that same name, Smiles for You. so yeah, reach out to me, ask any questions, I'm more than willing to sit down with you and talk to you about your application or anything else pre-dental related. There we go. Awesome, man. Well, again, on behalf of, you know, the Future DDS family, all the pre-dance watching, uh, of course, myself and Tyler, we want to thank you again for, uh, you know, just taking some time out to actually sit with us and give us these great gems and some words of advice. I mean, thank you so much for this experience. I mean, I've been following you guys for a long time. It's, it's such a true honor just to be here with you and talking about dentistry. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you, man. Truly, bro. I appreciate that. Um, and for everybody else out there, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you know we never post up new content, uh, more videos throughout the series. And also, if you have any questions for us, head over to Instagram, follow us at underscore future DDS, send us a DM there, or you know, send us a comment. We'll make sure we get back to you as soon as we can. But until next time, we'll see you later. All right, Michael. Thank you. <laughs>